Hello, guys. It's nice to meet you. So today I want to um, explain why Bitfinex is so, such involved with, uh, with EOS. We started supporting EOS um, since 2017, so last year, really early last year. And I want to share this uh, information with you because uh, in the past days uh, we have been accused of lack of transparency. So Bitfinex is an early investor in the first round of Block One. And is, is another important thing is the fact that Block One is not involved in any aspect of our candidacy. And another thing that is really, really important that I stress in every chat that I was in the last days is that in some, somehow uh, Bitfinex really uh, proposed itself as a block producer just because we've, it's fun for us. We do this uh, for, it's our job to uh, support the community, to work on cryptos and so on. So we, we saw the opportunity, we decided to take it, and, uh, and that's all. The community will decide if we are eligible or not to be block producers. Um, if uh, being um, an exchange or an early investor of block one is a problem, fine, we won't be a block producer. Um, but you have to know that all our investors, so after, after the hack in 2016, we got a lot of investors and every single investor is really uh, a supporter of EOS. They are uh, amazed by the opportunity of participating into this new adventure. So that's why uh, we decided to propose ourselves as block producer, but more, more importantly, we care about the US ecosystem. So we, we, we spotted the, uh, uh, the opportunity to start working on something that has really higher throughput <coughs> respect to what we were seeing now. So um, we, and especially um, we, the, the nature, the, 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 um, the open source nature of, of EOS is what really uh, drive us and the fact that is in early stages we can talk easily to the, to the developers so they are a community of, um, they are really easy reachable. We, we, we saw that with EOS Phoenix in the, in the past uh, months. They, they are always responsive. They, everything is, uh, can still be uh, crafted. So. We, were, we got excited, we decided to, to, to jump on board really early, as soon as we got the opportunity. Another thing is that uh, we trust, we knew the people behind uh, Block One, we trust them, we decided to invest. Okay, um, really the development of EOS Phoenix started in, in August 2017, so we just announced it a um, few months ago, but uh, it's, we are uh, trying to get our heads around it uh, since um, different months, I would say. Um, we hired a de dedicated development team. So we, have, we are um, now building something that is a Node.js library that is more like a um, client-side library that allows to uh, interact with the smart contract that we, matching engine a smart contract that we are developing. That everything will be open source, so we really, are using this as a way to learn more, to, to play, um, and uh, get give back to the community because again, we got help in the past. We, we got a lot of help from the community. We want to give back. Um, so we are proposing as candidate, um, and we so we think that um, uh, we have a really good expertise, knowledge, experience in the sector. We were uh, we we have been around for for quite some time. Uh, we have a really um, good um, infrastructure now. Uh, we are overhauling our entire infrastructure, so we are we like the idea of, of being on cloud. But at the same time, we are uh, moving um, part of our uh, operations to um, data center because we really, one of the things that we really care is uh, latency, performance, and somehow you, it's really hard to um, estimate what's your um, performance latency of your entire application when you deploy it on a, on a stack. When, when you come to milliseconds or microseconds, then, then it starts to matter. Um, also, we think that, um, so we have this amazing infrastructure, someone, well, I, I said in the, uh, in the last few days that is a military grade infrastructure. And well, people thought that we had like uh, drones that were shooting people around the building and so on. 
but the fact really uh, it means that you, you to to enter the data center you have like um, a hand scanner they wait you you let's say you you if you go to p you have to uh, mark that you went to p because your weight is different so and it can resist your to a plane crash uh, so these kind of things make it military grade um, so um, the Another thing is that um, uh, over time, since we are um, dealing with EOS since one year, um, we saw that their uh, vision really aligns with the one Bitfinex. So we, we think that we are a good fit. Uh, Bitfinex has a global scale operation, so we have um, people working on every single time zone uh, uh, from the customer support and from um, developers and so on. So we, we saw a particular problem in, um, well, in, in the period where we were um, in this period, last period, because we think that um, Asian and uh, Western communities are not um, too much aligned. So one thing that we are trying to do uh, with, uh, with our forces is to try to, to uh, help the, the dialogue go through. Um, and we think that the fact that we have people in, in our team talking any, basically any language can help that. Um, we also um, are willing to give to the EOS community with um, um, uh, funding, resources, um, uh, workshops, and we will push, as I said, everything open source. Uh, by the way, one thing that um, is, might, might be interesting that I forgot in, in talking about EOS Phoenix is that EOS Phoenix will have a similar interface of Bitfinex, and also the interface of the UI in Bitfinex will be mostly open source. So that's, that's really the, the path that Bitfinex is taking in the next year. Uh, again, I want to reiterate the fact that being um, a block producer is not a, condi uh, is not a condition sine qua non, or a prerequisite, uh, prerequisite to uh, be um, involved and keep uh, funding and pushing the, the EOS community. Um, two, uh, there were two main concerns um, in, uh, the, that, that I got from, um, uh, from the chats. So one is the lack of transparent, uh, transparent financials, and uh, the second one is the fact that we could use our customers' wealth to vote for, um, for, for us or our friends to be block producers. Well, I would, would like to address these two concerns. So the first one is that um, Anyone in this room can present me a good auditor that can audit our numbers because every time we try, well, you, we, we try a lot of times, and even if they found that we don't have anything to hide, the fact that finding that we don't have anything to hide and telling publicly when, in, like in December, there was a lot of heat against us, it's a different thing. So never, no one will ever sign off our bank balances and our um, crypto balances because just they don't want to lose their faces. They, they also, we have dozens of cryptocurrencies. And you have to rely on an um, old world uh, auditing firm that m most of the time don't understand how our entire space works. So this is the real problem. So I'm happy to get suggestions to, if you know auditors that are trustable and whatever, send me an email, paolo at, dot, um, at bitfinex.com. I'm happy to, to, to work with them. Second, um, so, um, okay. We will not use customer funds to vote for ourselves of, of, uh, or, um, or, um, or friends. So the idea is that we will create um, an application um, that will be open sourced again, that allow uh, our customer to vote for a list of broker producers that we'll, we'll get from EOSCO and uh, Django. We will, have that, we will offer that list and everyone will be able to vote for the block producer they want or split their wealth on different block producers. So you know that we, we need to produce a wingman file with 30 block producers, so basically we are willing to weight the wealth of the, the customers that will vote um, across all the, uh, the 30 block producers. Um, the first 30 block producers weighted by wealth, by the number of votes they get. Um, Bitfinex will just be one of them. So we will not say, well, you know, with the red marks, vote for us, and, and uh, no. We will be just one of them. Um, 
we are working on um, uh, this voting tool. Well, this is the, um, the QR code. Basically, today we released uh, the first BIP, that well, Bitcoin Improvement Proposal or Bitfinex Improvement Proposal um, in our case, that uh, is uh, really uh, called a Proof of Liabilities and Transparent Voting or Delicated Proof of Vote. So it's basically we are willing to create a Merkle tree where we will public, a public Merkle tree where every single user will be split in different buckets. So you will, from the outside, no one can identify the wealth of every single user. So it, everything will be randomized. But at the same time, uh, uh, you will be able to, uh, the user will, will be able to use their uh, uh, public key uh, that, as, um, that will be the node identified or the Merkle tree as a um, uh, way to, um, to vote and say that that wealth that is mine goes to that uh, block producer. So in this way, we can publish this big tree with millions node um, that will, for each node, there will be a small vote for a block producer. And uh, if you sum, the, every, single, every single node will contain the um, sum of the, of the amount of the wealth that is on, on the um, child nodes. And if, if you go up to the root of the node, you will get the entire um, amount of EOS that are on Bitfinex. And, well, you can go on our ERC20 cold storage. It's, um, I will uh, share the address uh, later on in the chat. But and you will be able to see that what we say that we have um, in the, the root of the Merkle tree will be exactly how much, how much we hold in our cold storage. So this is a real... At least this is the best way within these few days we thought to, um, uh, to handle this thing transparently, to give everyone the same chance. Because I think that I can tell you that with our, with our votes, we can easily win the competition. But this is really not a competition for us, and we don't care to win. So we want to give the, give the same opportunity to everyone to make sure that uh, everyone have the same chances to... And the fact that exchanges can can vote for them shouldn't be the reason why they win. The reason is that they are trusted, they are doing the right thing for the community and so on. So um, aside that, the fact of being produ block producers, um, we are investing a, a significant amount of energies and resources in, uh, in EOS since uh, already one year. Um, our, uh, we are hiring C++ developers and um, we are willing to contribute also to EOS core as much as we can. Um, we are really good in, in trading tools, so, but you know, when, when it comes to trading, the cool thing is that you are touching a um, lot of aspects like uh, high performance, binary streams, and so on. And we talk a lot with, um, with the EOS developers to make sure that uh, also the necessities on an exchange uh, can be, will be included in, uh, in, in EOS. Um, we will provide funds and resources um, uh, to projects that we find, uh, find interesting in, uh, in EOS. And I think that the best way in the end is um, if the community finds that the, the transparent voting system is good enough for, for, as a way to, 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 to transparently assign votes to, 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 to different options, we would like to use that to um, give our funding to the projects that will, uh, that will get more votes on our platform. Also, is an, an important thing because when it comes to uh, staking in this moment, you have to stake, you, you need to run your node, you need to uh, have a, like a, you need to have some technical skill. Instead, what we are proposing now is to have a, use Bitfinex, you deposit on Bitfinex, and you can basically stake through our no node for whoever you want. So again, um, whatever happens, we are happy to be part of, the, of this group, we are happy to be part of this community, and we, we will be just happy if everything will go smoothly from the 1st of, uh, <laughs> of June and going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Paolo.